All right. So analyze. So analyze the system. So we need to identify the ways to what is causing the gap between the current performance and the desired goal. What are the causes? And this is where we need subject matter experts. Yes, I'm a. If you're a trainer, if you're a consultant, if you're a coach, probably you can only indicate to them, give them some clues. Okay. But it is really the team which has to, for example, one of the very big company, you know, very famous company in South India that I'm consulting, we have actually increased the efficiency of a molding machine. Okay. From probably, I think, four months, five months now. Uh, if somebody is from TVS, you can acknowledge that here in this session. We have increased somewhere between uh, some 20%, uh, 30% in the last year. And all that we have done is a methodology only. But the gap analysis is done by subject matter experts. You call it brainstorming, you call it, uh, you know, organizing the causes through cause and effect diagram, get into the detail of YY analysis, and then do prioritization matrix, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. But all that methodology we say, but then this portion of the uh, identifying ways, uh, the reason for the gaps is done by subject matter expert. Okay. And then when the data is collected, sometimes the data can be overwhelming because of the size of the data, because of the nature of the data and things like that. Uh, so we used to take the help of technology. Okay. I always say this information is for decision making. Now, if you have correct and complete information, you can make correct and complete decision. Okay. Timely decision. Okay. If you make correct and complete data, and timely data, timely, correct and complete data, you can make timely decisions, okay, and correct decisions. So when the correctness of this data and the completeness of the data is humanly very difficult. In old days, you used to write a note in the notebooks, okay, and then later on computer came and somebody entered in Excel sheets and did the analysis. Now you have MRP system, which does the analysis. Now you have SAP integrations and all that, okay? The point that I'm trying to say is use the power of technology when you're not able to get the information, correct and complete information and timely information. If you're not able to humanly get that, use technology. Otherwise, you don't use technology. This is what is my experience that I'm sharing. Okay, analyze. Analyze the process to determine the root causes of variation and poor performance of defects. So I'll teach you about uh, the root cause analysis tools. Okay. We all know Ishikawa diagram or fishbone diagram or cause and effect diagram. Okay. We all, we all know about YY analysis, the tree diagram and things like that. We will discuss in depth about those tools. Okay. So this is also, you know, uh, how do you make sure okay, you don't have the risk of failing? Okay. So we do what is called FMEA, failure modes and effects analysis for identifying the possible product, service and process failures. Again, I'm only introducing these tools. We will go into the depth of these tools during the course of this session. Okay, multivariate chart so that you don't get scared when I take up these modules of root cause analysis, modules of FMEA, modules of multivariate chart and things like that.